What's up guys, Shane Starts here with Droid Modder X. This is going to be the quick and easy guide to rooting your HTC 10. Now, this method is a little different from other methods for rooting Android with, with an unlocked bootloader. JCase has specified the exact method that we need to take here in this guide. I'll be sure to link to it in the description. We're gonna follow it word for word and do exactly what he says. Essentially, the way that HTC encrypts the HTC 10 if you flash Super SU or if you S off your device whenever data is wiped, it forgets that the phone is encrypted. Uh, this is just in layman's terms, guys, but it forgets that the phone's encrypted and essentially it screws up your radio signal. So you're not able to get any signal on your device. We'll go into settings and uh, you should already be bootloader unlocked before you begin. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of, of my guide of how to unlock the bootloader. So you'll make sure you go into developer options Make sure that OEM unlocking, USB debugging are both checked. You'll kind of set the phone to the side for now. Grab the twerp file for the HTC 10. So wherever you have your fast boot and ADB files, I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can grab your ADB and fast boot files. You'll want to drag and drop this Team Win Recovery project into that folder. Okay, next up we'll reboot into download mode. So we'll need to go ahead and plug our device into our computer. All right, so we'll go back to our Android folder, shift right click, open command window here, and ADB reboot bootloader. You'll see that your phone is now in bootloader mode. Now scroll down to where it says boot to download mode and hit the power button. The command that we're going to type is fast boot flash recovery and then the name of the twerp file. Okay, so you should be, you should be in download mode here. So we'll copy our command and then we'll grab the name of the Team Win Recovery Project. Make sure you do grab the right one. If you flash the wrong recovery file, it will brick your phone. Paste that, paste that dot IMG at the end, hit enter. That's going to go ahead and flash the proper recovery to your device. All right, so now you should have the proper recovery installed. So we're gonna type fast boot, reboot bootloader, reboot dash bootloader, hit enter. Okay, so we'll go into our bootloader, scroll down and select reboot bootloader. Okay, next you're gonna wanna make sure that you do install an SD card into your device. Okay, so on the left side of your phone, that's where your SD card slot is. Eject that, go ahead and place your SD card in there. As you guys can see, it should fit upside down in the card slot. On your screen here, we're going to select reboot to recovery mode. Okay, when you see this screen here, we need to keep it read only. So we'll go ahead and select keep read only. And then what we'll need to do is back up all partitions except for user data. So this will be a full stock backup except for the recovery. So we're gonna go to backup. So everything except for user data. So uncheck data. So we need our system, our system image, and we need our boot. And so system, system image and boot, and we'll go ahead and back up. So this is very crucial. You'll need all this because if, as you guys can see down here in steps 11 through 15, once you have S off your device and you're lacking your uh, mobile data, you'll have to actually go through and reflash your system image and boot. So we'll give this just a minute to flash. Once the backup is finished, you will reboot your device. Grab the Super SU Force Encrypt Zip. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can find this exact Super SU Zip. But basically this Force Encrypts the phone so that you don't have to worry about the data loss. Now you do wanna make sure to back up that system image and boot file just in case for some reason your mobile data quits working. You can always restore that system image and boot file to get your data back. So very crucial that you do make sure to back up. Make sure to grab a file explorer and move that download file, move the downloaded SuperSU file to the root of your SD card. That way it'll be easy to find in recovery. ADB reboot bootloader. Go down to recovery. Go ahead and boot into team win recovery mode. Go to install. Okay, there's your SuperSU right there on the root of your SD card. Go ahead and grab that and flash the file. Now that's gonna go ahead and root your device. Once it's finished, we'll just go and grab root checker and check our device for root. And also you should not, as you see the boot image patcher there, you shouldn't have any problems with your mobile data. 
If you do for some reason, then you'll just need to go and restore the backup that you made of your system image and boot. Okay, if Torp offers to install SuperSU, do not let it. First reboot may take a few minutes. It can also loop a few times. Do not interrupt the process. Uh, so now we'll reboot the system. And don't freak out if your phone goes into a boot loop. We'll go ahead and grab Root Checker from the Play Store. Once Root Checker is installed, we'll go ahead and open that. Verify root. And as you guys can see, we have the super user request, which means that our HTC 10 is now rooted. We'll go ahead and grant that. It says, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for the root guide on the HTC 10. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.